We are going to have a look at the new live function of the volume reconstruction module. The new way of using plus is to use it from the plus remote. We can create a new plus server launcher and add the plus server. The config file for plus can be opened in slicer as a text node and when it's loaded it can be selected in the plus server launcher to start a plus server with this config file. We just press the connect button and we wait for the hardware to start up and the image and transformation nodes appear in the subject hierarchy. We have a simple tracked ultrasound image. We just need to place the image node on the image to reference transformation node. We will visualize the image in the red 2D viewer and we use volume reslice driver to keep the view in the ultrasound image and follow the image. We visualize the image in the 3D viewer as well and check by moving the ultrasound that both the image and the transformation is transmitted to slicer. Now we can switch to volume reconstruction module, select the live option the input image will be our ultrasound image and we will try a relatively fast 0 0.2 uh, second interval for updates. For live volume reconstruction we need a region of interest where the volume will be created. We can just uh, click on our ultrasound image, place an ROI and extend it to the expected workspace. After this we can hide the ROI to remove clutter from the 3D viewer. Now we can select the region of interest we've just created. We'll use linear interpolation for volume reconstruction and usually for ultrasound we use the maximum compounding mode. The first example shows the maximum compounding. We are scanning a femur head and we can see as the live volume is updating both in the 3D viewer and in a 2D cross-section. The next example shows the mean compounding mode. So in this way when multiple input ultrasound images are available for the same voxel location in the output volume the values in, from the input images are averaged. This creates less noise in the output volume because random noise will cancel itself by averaging. On the other hand the bone surface will not look as solid because some parts will be averaged with uh, acoustic shadows.